city as, as a general rule 20 years ago mandated that we built public buildings out of sustainable materials. Mainly it was because they needed to have them low maintenance and last a long time. Masonry was always something that we considered because of its you know, rugged durability. So much if not all of the fire stations, the apparatus bays were always masonry. In Phoenix, the way we look at buildings is that half life cycle, they're 25 years old. We'll come back in and do major remodels in plumbing. Uh, we'll look at the electrical system. We'll change the mechanical systems out, um, but we don't have to do anything with the masonry. We see other products of construction out in our, our job, but a building that's built out of masonry gives us a certain degree of assurity that the building's gonna hold true. Even under heavy fire load conditions, some of the other products will fail. Obviously wood will because it's a combustible Drywall um, only offers a short amount of time uh, to hold heat within the space and then it degrades. Even steel, and steel you think is as strong as masonry, but steel expands and causes a building to collapse. And when we look at products, um, especially in our line of work, we're looking at what's the likelihood of them staying together to where we can go in and effect a rescue or put the fire out or manage the situation without the building collapsing on us. And again, masonry is one that when we look at it from the outside of the building, we feel very secure that we're gonna be able to run our operations for a, um, a certain space of time and, and do it in a safe manner. We know that the fire will reach that point where the masonry wall is and generally it will contain it or stop it keep it within the building envelope. So again, we see it practically out on the street, but we also use that um, to our advantage here in the fire station. So you build it right the first time, you don't really have to touch it again. 